Hey everybody, it's Rachel with Dye Press. Today I want to talk to you about silicone mats and share with you why we use them for sublimation and also how we use them and where you can find them. The primary reason that we use silicone mats for sublimating shirts is so that we can concentrate the heat and pressure just to the image area. This helps to keep the seams and the collars from getting in the way of getting good pressure and good contact between the paper and the shirt. And it also helps to protect any colors from discoloring from the heat, like these sleeves will actually turn color if they get pressed. And it also protects the rest of the shirt, keeping it white, keeping avoiding uh, scorching or any other discoloration that can happen. This is the image that I'm going to sublimate onto this shirt. So I cut the silicone mat just slightly larger than the image. Uh, now this silicone mat, I put it on top so that you could see the positioning and the size. But when you actually go to sublimate, this mat will either go inside the shirt or under the shirt, which I'll show you how that works on the heat press. All right, I have a shirt set up here on the heat press to show you how the layers work. You can see here that on my heat press, the only thing I have on here is the thick rubber pad that came with the heat press and the silicone mat. This is all you should have on your press. Nothing more, nothing less, no pressing pillows, no foam. This is it. This is how you're going to get the most vibrant image transfers. So I put mine underneath. You can put it in between if you would like to um, protect the shirt or the image from transferring to the back. So you would just then lay your image on here and some butcher paper for protection and then you would sublimate. Lastly I want to talk about what you're looking for in a silicone mat. Um, it is not stiff like Teflon. It is not Teflon. It is rubbery, very flexible. Uh, these sheets are actually used for baking uh, cookies on and that's why they work well because they can withstand the heat. Uh, you can find them locally at Michael's, you can find them, uh, I've seen them in the grocery store, at Costco, in different uh, sections like the, the specialty baking section. Um, you can also get them on Amazon. We have a link below uh, for the ones you can find on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe below and also join us on Facebook. Search for Dye Sublimation and join the group. You can share your projects. Um, you can also ask questions where we'd love to help you out. And there are a lot of other members that want to help too. So until then, happy sublimating.